What is up guys and welcome to Power to the Cables, my FM19 Prescott Cables series. We have finally made it to the Vanarama National League North, which is awesome. We've got a few friendlies to go through on Pesky Balls TV as we usually do. And then we're going to hit up our first game of the season against Stourbridge. We are at home, but it's going to be a big one. Stay tuned.
So guys, here we are. We are using our experimental tactic. Again, we, we will come up for a name with it for at some point. Um, it seems to work against bigger teams, so it should really kick in this season, hopefully. We are expected to fight bravely against relegation. So we're going to need to score them goals. We'll go from there, I guess. Um, so yeah, today we've got Ben Barnes in goal, McCulloch and Coyne in defence. I don't know why his picture isn't showing up. We have got one for him now, um, so I'll have to get onto that again. Reese McNally, Griffiths and Joe Foe in midfield. Jordan Wynn and Jack Lenahan up in the attacking midfield position. And um, Lloyd Dean, Harry Kane and Chris Almond up front. We are playing against, obviously, Stourbridge, who are playing a 4-4-2. Um, and I don't really know many of their players, so um, I don't think we're going to give anyone a specific mention. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. We've got Haslam, Cooper, Fishwick and Dave, Klein Davis and Josh, Josh, Jordan Southworth in on the subs bench as well. So let's crack on. Almond with the kick off to Griffiths. McCulloch. McCulloch looking for somewhere to pass the ball. He gets it to Kane. Kane into Almond. Almond shoots and it's quite a way over the bar. But we've registered our first shot in this league. Nevers gets it across. Headed out by Lloyd Dean. And Bele. Adebi. I'm guessing that is. We've moved up to 13th place. We've not done anything, but we're not losing as of yet. So that's always good. Lenahan looking to make a little bit of leeway here. Kane's there. Oh, straight into Lavacom. It was a very weak shot. Oh, we're bossing the uh, shots and possession at the minute. That is purely down to the, the uh, formation. The formation is just so good. Um... We've moved up to 11th. Lloyd Dean's picked up a yellow card. Westlake to Bartlett. Bartlett to McComb. Adebayi. Mbelli. Bowen. Tackled by Foe and Lenahan picks up the loose ball. Puts it forward to Ullmond. Ullmond's there with Foe running up, up beside him. Lenahan. Lenahan shoots, but Lavacom saves it. Puts it out for a corner. <clears throat> McNally to take the corner. Whips it in deep. Wins there. Headed straight into Lavacom. We, we're getting shots on, but we're just a lot of them are going straight to the goalkeeper. McCulloch with a free kick to McNally. Gets it across to Ullmond. Ullmond heads against the bar. And Lavacom comes out to get it, but Ullmond's there first. Makes it 1-0. 1-0 in our first home game. Against Stourbridge in the Vanarama National North. What a finish it was. I actually thought the goalkeeper was going to get to it as well. McNally whips it in. Ullmond just heads it against the crossbar. The goalkeeper's trying to get to it. But obviously Ullmond gets his boot to it before the goalkeeper can get his glove to it. And it's 1-0. 26 minutes in. Lenahan. Foe. Foe gets it across but it gets cleared. Dean. Straight at the keeper. We're in fourth position. We're winning 1-0 and we're in fourth position. That's a bit crazy. Westlake with the corner. And Bellet's there. Neves. Oh, I thought that was the second one. The second one where no one was looking. <sighs> Banningheim. These Stourbridge players have got weird names. Like hard names to pronounce. I thought he, I thought he was going to shoot. And that's well Harry Kane. Headed it out nicely, but only as far as Banningheim beats Ben Barnes. And we've dropped down to 10th position. Can we get it back in the lead? Joe Fo back out to McNally. McNally looking for somewhere to pass it. Griffiths, Lenahan, Almond, Lenahan out wide to McNally. Can he get a decent cross? And he gets it in, but straight to Lavacom. No one challenges him. 34 minutes on the clock and it's still 1-1. One, one. Lenahan gets it forward to Almond. Almond back to Lenahan into Win. Wins looking to hit one and he can hit him from there and he does. His first goal of the season assisted by Jack Lenahan. Jordan Win makes it 2-1, puts us back in the lead. 
good little bit of play between uh, Almond and Lenahan there. Lenahan into a win. You know he's going to hit it from there, just outside the box. That's his sweet spot. And he just... The goalkeeper's got no chance. Now we've moved up to third position. We need to hold this now. Ullman's there with the free kick, straight at the wall. But he gets back to collect it. And then... I think it was a shot. I think it was a shot. They finally registered some shots, and I think they're they're realising we're not going to lay down and die and allow them to just roll us over. Um, I wonder with another free kick straight at the wall again. It was all. It, it, I don't think. It, oh my God! Win went for his second there. Ullman really needs to beat that wall in his free kicks. Really, really needs to. He does it all the time. McCulloch whips the cross in. Curran Brown is there. McNally puts it back in. Wins unguarded. And there he is. There's his second goal. That could have been his third if he had hit the last one. 3-1 against Stourbridge before half-time. I think they've probably taken us for granted a little bit. Um, headed out there twice, only as far as McNally. And they're all... Just left win unmarked. The the last goal scorer, I would have thought they'd be on him there. But they've just left him unmarked in the box. Silly, silly Stalbridge. And we've moved up to first position. What a way to start this season. So here we are, guys. Half time, 3 1. Chris Olmond opening the scoring before Banningheim equalised on the 32nd minute. Jordan Wynn then putting us ahead on the 36th minute. And just after, just before half time, um, doubling his goal tally and putting us two goals to the good against Stourbridge. Let's get into the dressing room. Um, we're going to go assertive. Don't get complacent. Things can turn around. They like that. I like a team that like the complacency talk because a lot of them don't. Ricketts, McComb. Stourbridge have got it in him to come back this half. We need to not be complacent. Banging arms there. Gets the ball across. But I think he's offside. Yes, he is. Um, we're going to give a little bit of a shout to say get creative. Curran Brown tried getting one in and it was nicely stopped there. Oh, Barnes received the ball off the post, which is good. We're going to drop down to positive rather than attacking mentality just so we can uh, have a little and there it is it's 4-1 4-1 Jack Lenahan gets his first of the season this is I, I don't I'm not sure how good Stourbridge are meant to be this season I don't know where they're supposed to finish but we're for a team that's supposed to be battling um, bravely against relegation we are actually really putting it to Stourbridge they've got to be a team that are meant to be in the same area as us We've moved up to first position again after dropping down to second. But 4-1 in our debut game in the Vanarama is not anything to be laughed at. Barnsley's taken a walk. Gets it forward to Olmond. Olmond can get it. I thought he was going to pull it back across the goal then. But it was a shot. And it was saved by the goalkeeper. Lenahan with the corner. Gets it in. Bowen puts it out for a throw. I honestly think this... this um, formation is going to start coming into play big time now because against lower league lower teams that we were playing in our in our leagues they they weren't that good it wasn't that good we was having to revert to the 442 but now we've now we're in a two divisions higher than we started and we've actually got oh there we go Stalbridge have pulled another one back same no it's it's a reverse Nevers assisted the first goal and Banningheim scored. This time it was the other way around. Um, we've got to be careful now. Shouts, we're going to say, uh, tighten up. Yeah, but um, most of the team, well, near enough all the teams we play now are going to be of a better, a higher calibre. So that's when this is this formation is going to come into play, hopefully. Um, we look like we're getting absolutely peppered at the minute. Westlake to take the corner. Gets it in, but Ullman heads out. Wins there to collect. Players getting forward. McNally. Nice overlap there. 
but it gets it back to McCulloch. Griffiths, win again. Win forward to Almond. Can he get to it? He's going to get to it. Can he get it across? Kane's there. Heads. Oh, and the, I'm, I'm not sure the goalkeeper actually blocked that, to be fair. It acted like it did, but it didn't look like he was anywhere near it. Kane probably should have scored that. And it's cleared. We are absolutely dominating this game. We just need... What What's going on there? We've got a female referee. And she's just sent McCulloch off. Well, that's not good, is it? Okay. Uh, that's really not good. We've still got a half hour to play. So we're going to have to really think about pulling the players back now. Oh, there you Reese Fishwick can play there. Okay. So we're going to have to be very, very careful now. It would appear they're looking for overlaps. Shout. Um, show some passion. We're still going positive, because why would you not be positive? But they are definitely going to come into this game now. Um, I think this is the first time I've seen a female referee on the game. I don't know if that's... Because before, before I loaded it up today, the um, the game did have an update. So I don't know if that's part of the update that's only just come in or if it's come in previously and I just haven't noticed it. Fishwick's there. Fishwick into Lenahan. Lenahan out wide to Ullman, but... Ullman's going to get there as well. Uh, that that actually shocks me. Kane. And we've scored again. 5-2. They're trying to send in low crosses apparently. Harry Kane, our top goal scorer from last season, has scored his first goal of the season this season, assisted by Chris Ullman. And what a cross it was. Almost pinpoint on Harry Kane's head. Obviously had to run to it, but, you know, good link up between both of them. 5-2. Even I'm shocked. Almond with the free kick. I think they hit the crossbar, yeah. Okay, so we've got about 15 minutes left of the game. Three goals ahead. We should be able to see this out. Um, let's tell them to calm down. We don't want to overdo it. Chris Almond, Lenahan and Winner are absolutely smashing it. I mean, the whole team are doing well. Ricketts with the free kick. Adebay. Bartlett. And he's the worst player on the pitch, according to the ratings anyway. And you can see why there. I mean, Kane didn't do too well there, but at least he actually recovered the ball. And he's got onto a mazy run before just giving it back to Lavacombe. Five minutes left. Westlake into Bangheim. McNally gets it clear. Kane heads back. Bartlett, Adebay. Westlake. Probably going to score another one now. But if it wasn't for Barnsley, they would have. And they get a corner. Westlake to take, yep. Gets it into Bangheim. I mean, there's... We are a player down, so there's gonna be there's gonna be gaps, but that no one was on the edge of the box with any of their players just then. Um, but we are defending well, even though that is the case. Don't forget with this um, tactic, generally, we do have an overload of players up top. We only have two defenders, um, so we do concede goals, and we know we're going to concede goals. It's just about outscoring the opponents. Hence the three up top and the two attacking midfielders. Coin to take the free kick. And that's going to be the end of the game. We have won our first game in the Vanarama, Vanarama National North. 5-2. And that's unbelievable. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I've just checked out where Stourbridge are supposed to finish. And they are sort of like lower mid-table. So... I fancy our chances now. We are, obviously, I don't know why the game said we, we, we're expected to fight against relegation. We are pr expected to finish 22nd and we're 300 to 1 with Staley Bridge also being another team promoted who are 250 to 1. The other team that were promoted, Kettering, are 
predicted to finish 11th and they're 6-1 to one, um, to win the league. So Stockport are favourites. So, yeah, um, this could be a weird season. Um, FC United are predicted to finish 19th and Gainsborough are f- predicted to finish 20th. So we're we're gonna we're gonna look at the sort of five teams around us and say they're must wins. Although we have just beaten Stourbridge, I think we might have caught them a bit off guard. Um, so yeah, um, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, I mean I've enjoyed it. Five two in our first Vanarama National League North game. Um, it's amazing. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. Hit that um, notification bell. Make sure you don't miss anything I upload. I don't only upload Football Manager. I actually upload um, indie games. I think it's listed in the indie games. Um, r- different games, really. Um, but I've got a Kylex Play series, so go and check that out if you uh, if you prefer that sort of stuff. And if you want to hit me up in the comments, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Um, I always try and message back. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. You've been brilliant. Thanks a lot. Peace out. Hey, hey.